Hi, it's Chester, Blue Beacon Computer Training. And in this video, we're gonna look at a problem where you can't format dates. So for example, if I select these dates and I want to change the date format, normally I'd go up to the drop-down list of formats on the Home tab, and I would choose a different format. And you can see that whatever I try, it doesn't change the format of the dates. Same would be true if you've got full stops separating your dates, if I try and change the format, it has no effect. Same would be true of dashes, or if you have just the month and the year. The problem is the same in all of these scenarios. And that problem is that the dates are text values. I can see that they're text values because they're on the left of the cell. Now, why would they be text values? Well, it may be that you've imported dates from another system and they've not imported properly as numeric values, or it may be that you've just entered them in as text values by mistake. Now the solution to this is quite simple. We need to, first of all, convert them to numeric values, and then we can apply the format that we want to apply to our dates. So how do I convert these to numeric values? Well, I start by selecting them, and then I go up to the data tab on my ribbon, and I click on text to columns. In the first step of the wizard, you choose delimited, and then you go to next. The second step, you select anything in this list of delimiters, next. And then what you do is you tell Excel that you've got a date in the column, and then you've got to work out the current format of your date. So in other words, day, month, and year is my format. So day, month, and year must be selected from this drop-down list. If it's different, you just go to the drop-down and select the format that your date is currently in. Then I just click on finish, and you can see that the dates align themselves to the right of the cell. Then I can go back to my home tab and go to the format dropdown, and I can choose something like long date, and you can see it formats the dates. So this will work exactly the same if you've got full stops in your dates. I'll just show you very quickly. and also if you've got dashes. And you'll see in this example, it's actually year, month, and day. So if I select those dates, text to columns, delimited, nothing selected in the delimiters list. And what I have to do here, say it's a date, and the format is year, month, and day. Click on finish, converts them to dates, and I can apply whatever format I wish to apply. Now the same would work if you just have months and years in your dates. I go up to text to columns. And here I can choose date, month and year, even though there is not a date element currently in our dates. I click on finish, it converts them to dates. And I can apply whatever formatting I want to apply. So what if I have date and time? You can see in this scenario that the values are left aligned, which means they're text values. So I'm not gonna have all the formatting options available to me. I need to convert them to numbers, first of all, to get those formatting options. So on the data tab of my ribbon, I go to text to columns, delimited, next, next. I choose date and don't worry about the time at all. Just worry about the format of your dates. So mine is uh, date, month, and year. I click on finish. You get a very strange answer, but this is what to do to get the dates and time back. With the cell still selected, right click, format cells. What you'll find is that custom is probably selected in this category list. If it isn't, select it. And then in the type box, delete whatever is currently in there and use this syntax. So 1D would give you a one digit day, 2Ds, two digit. 3Ds, abbreviated form, the day of the week. Four digits, non-abbreviated form, the day of the week. Space, M, the number of the month. Two Ms, two digit number of the month. Three Ms, abbreviated form of the month. Four Ms, non-abbreviated. Now we can't see that with May, but that is the case with four Ms. Space, Y, Y, Y for a four digit year. Two Ys for a two digit year. Then for the time element, space, HH, colon, MM, and if you need seconds, colon, SS. Click on OK, and there's your dates and your times. 
Now you can also have the date and time separated into separate columns. Let's see how we can do that. Back to text to columns, delimited, next. And now in the list of delimiters, you need to specify what separates the time from the date. And our scenario, that's a space. You can see if I tick space, I get a line between the time and the date. Next. With time selected down here, just keep it at general. But then when you go over to your date column, specify the date format, which is date, month and year. And then if I click on finish, I need to widen this column where you can see I have the date. And over here, I need to apply the time format. So with those cells selected, go to the home tab on my ribbon. And then in this drop down of formats, I choose time and there are my times. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you have, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.